Hey everybody, James Yeager, Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Uh, well, I wanted a Henry Bowman special. I wanted a five inch uh, factory, five inch Smith, uh, Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum Model 29, and it appeared it wasn't gonna happen. And uh, so Clint Smith said, hey Yeager, buy one of the eight and three eights, and I know a guy, have it cut down. Then, you, then, you, then you're done. I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I put a bid in on gun broker on one, um, and then uh, and then uh, one um, then a five inch popped up, and I put a bid in on it and got it at, and got it at a really good price, and so I had two forty four magnums within within twelve hours of each other. I was like, oh, I, didn't, I wouldn't have bought the other one, you know. I, for, I got so excited about the five inch, I forgot to, to see if I could retract my bid, but that's not cool anyway. So I got the eight three eight. So I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this thing? So I went ahead and had it cut down. And uh, so right now it's loaded with uh, 240 grain Fiocchi. Got uh, Packmire grips on it. Uh, you'll let me see if I can get it in the sun here. Got the XS big dots on here. But I had the barrel cut from eight and three eighths uh, down to five. And uh, oh, not throwing the rounds out. And uh, you can see on there. I guess if I can get it in the light, right? It's a it's a it's a it's a Wesson now and a four Magnum. <laughs> Dumping rounds out, 44 Magnum. That's, you don't want to throw those around. Those those things ain't cheap. And um, I think I've about got the sights uh, tweaked out. I think I've about got them right. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I got a piece of steel about 20 yards out there, and I'm gonna just put some rounds on it and uh, see if see if I got these big dots where they need to be. But but I'm telling you, they're they're the fucking. <laughs> I like them on auto pistols. This is the first revolver I've had them on. I mean, I got a Smith that's got the front, but like the, have have the rear on there too. Legit, especially you guys that are getting older. You got older eyes, but these are legit sights, no matter at what age you are. Missed those last two. Trying to shoot fast. The uh, I'm so used to shooting auto pistols, you know, much more mild cartridges. Trying to get my timing down on these magnums is. Uh, I, I I haven't shot enough, you know. Okay, I just need to shoot them more. Huh. I had the sight too low on that one. Yeah, shooting is simple, it's not easy. <clears throat> so, model 29, originally eight and three eighths. Uh, cut it down to five, Henry Bowman, if you know what I'm talking about, there's a book called Unintended Consequences by John Ross. Accurate-press.net, uh, paperback version is in reprint to, for 30 bucks. Get an autographed copy for a little bit more. Uh, my, my favorite fiction fiction book ever, uh, but uh, the, uh, the guy in the book, the main character in the book, had a five-inch Smith, and uh, so I wanted to uh, uh, <laughs> lead that Henry Bowman lifestyle. That's a hashtag on uh, Instagram, Henry Bowman lifestyle. But uh, that's it. I'm gonna shoot some more, shoot some more of this thing, and uh, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's just a, it's just a neat piece. So, so, so I've got the original five-inch in this one. So this is going to be my run the mileage up on this one and then then you know my, i use the other one for my barbecue gun if you don't know what a barbecue gun is you led a horrible life this is james jay for response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends